You can't watch porn and play video games till 4 a.m. and expect to get married. That's just the truth about how life works and your body works and really what women are looking for. The Bible says that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. So therefore, you have to protect and shine your body just the way you would take care of your car. That's what's going to most of all honor your own body, your own soul, so that you can actually find a wife who wants to marry you. Being up till 4 a.m., watching porn, playing video games may sound like fun, like something that you're just doing because it's, it's pleasurable and, well, what, what else are you going to do? Your life is a mess. You might be successful in business, at work. You may have a lot of money. You may have a lot of even hobbies or even ministry. But if your personal life is upside down, that woman who you long to find, maybe even that woman that you're in a relationship with now, will never marry you because of what she's noticing. And most of all, you yourself are defiling your own body. You can't function when you're up at 4 a.m. and then need to go to work or to be a presentable human being. You can't have your mind be on the right place if you're watching porn every night. You can't abuse your body that way emotionally and expect to be a well-functioning human being. Now, I understand that these habits are coming from a place of loneliness, perhaps of missed opportunities, maybe even of not having enough guidance and positive role models. So I'm not here to cast blame on some of these things. My point is, wake up. <laughs> you can't divide your life into little pieces and expect to be a wholesome human being. The Bible says that we, as I said, need to either choose God or choose this world. You cannot serve two masters. And when, and when you and I are spending time away from the things of God, watching porn, being up till 4 a.m., watching video games, playing video games, then you're truly serving two masters. You're trying to make your life work and it's not working. You can tell. Your body is a mess. Your sleeping patterns are upside down. You're not even fully present in the things that you really love to do. Wake up, young man. Wake up, young woman. It's time for you to take control of your life, and control of your habits. You got to knock Satan back. You got to punch him back. You, you got to stop letting him win because he is winning the war in your life. Remember, greater is he that is in you than he who is in the world. The Bible says that we are a temple of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, we need to feed the temple with good vegetables and veggies and fruits and vegetables. You need to be in relationship with other people that will help you. You need to be vulnerable and say to someone that you, that you have a friendship with, hey, you know what? I'm really struggling in this area. Would you guide me? Would you be my accountability partner? Or would you just simply pray for me? You got to punch Satan back in the mouth. And stop letting him win over this very important part of your life. Now, someone might be saying, oh, well, you know, this is not harming anyone. It's harming you. It's messing with your mind, with your view of sexual intimacy, with your sleeping patterns, with what your body needs as far as rest, exercise, eating better, losing weight, being in shape. The woman of your dreams isn't looking for someone who looks more like a <laughs> like a pear than a, than a strong uh Mac truck. Nobody wants to marry someone who's out of shape, who may have a lot of money or even have a great ministry, but isn't really living their best life. A woman who you want to, to be drawn to you is looking for not a perfect man, but for someone who has their emotional, physical, and mental, mental life at least in order under the submission of the Holy Spirit. And so this is your, your warning video. This is your loving, uh, I guess, uh, advice or a little kick in the butt. If you are one of those young men or young women who are up late, watching porn till 4 a.m., playing video games, this is the time to say, I don't, that's not who I am. This is not who God made me to be. 
It is harming me. It is causing me emotional, psychological, physical problems. Maybe no one can tell yet, but eventually you will see the results, especially when it comes to relationships with that young lady, with perhaps your wife, with even with your, your friends. Take time now to say no more, Satan. Not today. I'm going to stand for truth. I'm going to live according to the purposes and values that I have. I'm going to live for Jesus Christ, yes, in my body, in my sleeping patterns, in my habits that are emotional, physical, and mental. It's not all just about serving and, and doing good things for the church. I want, Lord, to be whole, to have peace and, and have life and joy and go so in every aspect of my life with grace, but with perseverance. Take time, my dear young friend, whether you are wanting to change or maybe you're still not convinced, this is the time for you to say no mas and to begin the journey back to yourself, back to God's design of putting God first. You cannot serve two masters. Stop serving both yourself and God. Serve God wholeheartedly. Seek first, the Bible says, the kingdom of God and all the rest will be given to you. If you put him first, you will have time to enjoy video games. You will have time to have a healthy, normal sexual relationship with a woman that you love. All of that is a part of the blessing of putting God first. And yes, in your sleeping patterns, in what you watch and consume online, all of that creates strength and perseverance and discipline. And it shows the world and it shows that woman that you're wanting to marry. Most of all, it shows yourself who you really are in Christ. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure that you sign up for my coaching program if you would like more one-on-one -on -one coaching. I'm here to serve. Thank you for being here and I will see you next time.